Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. If you're looking for your horoscopes, you've come to the right place. Click the down bar or the comment section, find your zodiac sign, hit that timestamp next to your zodiac sign, and it will jump to the point in the video that's important to you. I'll see you over there. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or Perfectly Fine Christmas by LaGille Hunt. She is Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight Author of the Month. Perfectly Fine Christmas is available everywhere books are sold. In addition to that, it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year. It's a Christmas novel. So please don't hesitate to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do. In addition to that, you can check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group. I see you reading and chatting every Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. Hello, Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E. Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. So let's get into it. On Thursday, the sun is in Capricorn at one degree. That's your sector of home and family. If you have placements between zero and four degrees of Capricorn, Taurus, or even I'd say, no, you know what? I say if you have placements between uh, Capricorn, Scorpio, and Pisces between zero and four degrees, this is about a wonderful opportunity coming into you uh, to garner some type of resources for home and family or some type of money for home and family. Maybe you're even being of service to someone and garnering this money. Maybe it's a new job that you're coming into and garnering this money. Maybe it is resources for a small pet. It could also be money coming into you during one of your daily routines that you're taking part of part in okay so if you have placements there make between those uh zero and four degrees you want to take advantage of this don't waste your time doing something for nothing when you can be doing something that's going to garner you some type of money or resources now saturn and aquarius at 11 degree is going to square uranus and taurus at 11 degree so if you have placements in in aquarius or taurus between 8 and 14 degrees this is a sudden restriction or responsibility being placed on you in some kind of way uh, maybe it's shared finances or something like that maybe it has to do with um yeah, maybe it has to do with shared finances that you have to pay out to someone. Okay, maybe a romantic partner, maybe a creative endeavor, maybe a child. Okay, maybe you're out having fun with children or your romantic partner or something and you have to come out of some money. Okay, it could also be a clash with a lover or with someone when you're hanging out. So be mindful of that. It could be an argument or a fight as well. Now, around 8 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, the moon in Leo at 19 degrees is going to try and invest in Sagittarius. So a blessing is going to come in and be bestowed on you. It could have to do with travel, success in career, education. But this is the angle where you are protected if you have placements between 16 and 22 degrees of Sagittarius or Leo. And for you, this is about friends, goals, and social groups. You know, goals being accomplished, things being communicated to you, where your goals are being accomplished. You communicate communicating with friends. Um, some blessing is coming through because of your devotion to that area of a sibling, a neighbor, or someone in your networks of people, okay? Um, but they're providing you some sort of protection here, um, notably maybe even in career, okay? Or, um, you know, with just some type of goal that you've been trying to accomplish. 
Now on Friday, the sun is going to be in Capricorn at two degrees. So if you have placements between zero and five degrees of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, this is some side of type of success coming into you. It could be in the literary field. It could have to do with education. It could have to do with a home-based business or simply home and family as it pertains to something going on behind the scenes that you've been waiting for. Maybe shared finances. Maybe this is intimacy being sparked up in your relationship. Maybe this is something you're passionate about. Bringing in the money you've been waiting for. This is where you're reaping the fruits of your labor and having the new beginnings that you want to have. Now, Saturn in Aquarius at 11 degrees is going to square Uranus and Taurus. So this is a reckless, aggressive energy as well on Friday that you might get into. So watch out for accidents because um, they are possible. Um, maybe you could also get hurt through a restriction or responsibility. If you're helping someone and you're rushing around, you want to be very mindful not to hurt yourself. Um, Taurus is your area of passion. And this is with a romantic partner, a child, or where you're out having fun. So you could help hurt yourself when you're out having fun and doing a restriction or responsibility with children. This it actually could be sex and intimacy because this could be with a lover. You don't want to hurt yourself or strain yourself, you know, when you're doing that. <laughs> Um, but it could also be uh, you out having fun. So you just want to just be careful because you could overspend or you could, um, you know, hurt yourself either way. If you have those placements between that eight and 14 degrees of uh, Aquarius or, or Taurus. Now, also on Friday, Jupiter and Aquarius at 29 degrees is going to quintile Uranus and Taurus. So if you have placements in Taurus between 8 and 14 degrees or Jupiter between 26 and 29, I'd even say going over into Pisces between 0 and 3 degrees. You're going to have some type of lucky opportunity or some assistance that's going to arise um, to garner some type of shared finances to maybe even, I'm sorry, work on something you're passionate about or do something you're passionate about with a lover, a child, or within a, within a creative sphere. You might even be just hanging out. Now, the moon in Virgo at seven degrees is going to square Mars and Sagittarius at seven degrees. So this is some sort of energy that you're putting into your area of communicating. Maybe your area of siblings, maybe neighborhoods, maybe your networks of people. You're putting in some type of energy there behind the scenes. You could be caring for someone, making a sacrifice for someone. But if you have placements between four and 10 degrees of Virgo or Sagittarius, you want to make sure that you're not overdoing it because you could find yourself overdoing it in that area. Okay, so be mindful of that. Don't give too much. You could find yourself being overly generous. And with uh, the moon in Virgo, when it moves over uh, a couple hours later, it's going to make a faded aspect to Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. So if you have placements between five and 11, no, yeah, five and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aries, this is bringing some type of healing into you through a relationship. And this relationship is healing you behind the scenes or you're healing a relationship behind the scenes. Maybe you're gaining closure. OK, um, success can prevail here. OK, just don't let anybody take advantage of you. Now, on Sunday, the sun is in Capricorn at three degrees on Saturday. I'm sorry. The sun is in Capricorn at three degrees. So if you have placements between zero and six degrees of Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, this is definitely some sort of blessing coming in for you. OK, um, with this blessing coming in for you because it's Christmas Day, you know, um, if it, it's coming into home and family behind the scenes, really, it could even be shared finances. If you have those placements between that zero and six degrees of Virgo, uh, Taurus or Capricorn. OK, that could literally be a, bless a blessing of some type of money. Now, Mars, um, and this could have been something that you've been waiting for. Mars at eight degrees Sagittarius is going to try and Chiron and Aries. So at the same time, we got Mars, the planet of energy and challenges in your area of communication, siblings, short distance travel, your networks of pre people bringing in some healing communication through a relationship. You're healing a relationship with a sibling, someone in your networks of people, maybe even a neighbor. Maybe you're healing your image around the neighborhood. Maybe you're healing your image as it pertains to communication when people have been slandering your name. And this is something that you've been waiting to be vindicated for okay just don't be egoic or proudful but you have some type of blessings coming into you all right um mm, yeah you're laying somebody to rest you could be laying somebody to rest you're laying that devil to rest 
okay now the moon invert yeah okay because it got the death card upside down so there is no rebirth for the devil okay so this is a toxic habit this is an addiction this could be a capricorn sun moon a rising sign person this could be somebody that was affecting you in any kind of way any negativity you're putting a a death to some type of negativity because it's the death card reverse which indicates an inability for this toxic energy to move forward that is absolutely wonderful i am loving that OK, because you're taking time to meditate and contemplate, you know, where you should go from here. Now, um, there's also a blessing that's going to be communicated to you through your sector of home and family. And it's going to be regarding something, like I said, behind the scenes. If you have placements between 15 and 21 degrees of Capricorn and Virgo, because this is at 18 degrees, this is going to be a blessing. It could be something coming out of nowhere, helping you to rebirth, maybe even through a partnership. And with Venus retrograde right up on top of Pluto, basically, at 25 degrees, if you have placements between 22 and 28 degrees of, I'd say, Capricorn, uh, Virgo, Taurus, I'd even say Pisces and uh, uh, Pisces and uh, Scorpio. You could have either some assistance coming in that helps you transform, an opportunity that helps you transform, or a blessing that helps you transform through money, through pleasure pursuits, through fine uh, romance, some transformation, a big transformation is coming in here and assisting your rebirth, okay? This is something is going on about with a partnership, too, where you've been hoping for something, but something is not going as it seems because there is an overwhelming feeling of giving up or some type of barrier of communication within some partnership or somebody is feeling that around you. Maybe they're feeling defensive or paranoid or you're de feeling defensive or paranoid or your nerves are frayed over something that's going on here, some relationship that's going on here. I'm going to see if they want to clarify and give me any more information as it pertains to this uh situation um oh maybe it's about your education and skills something that has to do with your education and skills something that has to do with some type of apprenticeship or something like that okay uh yeah it's prompting you to emotionally problem solve. Now, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising sign person, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Or this could have to do with um, you tr being all up in your head about your education, your skills, where you want to go next with your, um, it, you know, expanding your knowledge, your apprenticeship, and things like that. You're kind of, you know... You, you got a lot going on you know what i'm saying so you're trying to figure out which way you want to go okay you got a lot of uh options on the floor now palace and pisces at 14 degrees is going to sextile juno and capricorn so there is an opportunity coming in through a commitment or there's an opportunity to make a commitment in your area of home and family if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of uh, capricorn or pisces this is an opportunity for you to garner uh, maybe even a job. This is about work, health, daily routines, and where you are of service to other people. And it is bringing in an opportunity through home and family. So you're either getting some type of, you're helping someone in home and family or someone's helping you. Maybe you're, um, yeah, you're assisting. So yeah, maybe you're assisting someone in home and family or they're helping you or maybe you're helping someone get to work from home or something like that. Um, but there's an opportunity to even utilize your talents at home. Maybe it's within a home-based business. Um, but there is that opportunity there for you to utilize your skills and your talents. Now let's find out about, uh, what you're going to be, what else you're going to be dealing with Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay. Let's ask the fairies Oracle deck, what you're going to be dealing with. Okay. For Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now make sure you protect the fruits of your labors. Okay. Um, prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead. Uh, if you're signing any contracts, read the fine print. If you're giving anyone any of your creative works, make sure you have copyrights in place. Um, make sure you have insurance for your children. 
you know sometimes you can get those if you get money coming in make sure you if you're buying something you have insurance for it you know how you can get whole life policies and stuff like that for your kids to where you can garner um you can put money into it until they're like 18 or 21 and then they can take all of that money out once they get that age they can buy them a house or whatever you know but you're prompted to protect the fruits of your labor okay you also have the lover's card which says true love uh, that is long lasting choices will be made from the heart and you will be returning to good health because you're going to start looking at your diet you're going to take important steps to ensure your financial security as well uh, for your children and your loved ones this is very important make sure you do this this week if you get a lump sum of money you're going to make wise investments and you're going to be planning for retirement you're also going to be enjoying family traditions Make sure you use logic and structure to increase your success, get organized, and be a firm, compassionate leader. Now, let's ask for your most likely outcome. Trust your intuition and be careful with uh, and careful, careful reflection before taking action. Insights that come through meditation. Make sure you're taking time to meditate. Make sure you're listening to, you, in, to your intuition and you're keeping your heart cards closely to your chest and reflecting before you decide what you want to say. A romantic partner that you can trust is aspecting you. Uh, excellent advice that comes from the heart is aspecting you. And you could be getting involved in a new creative endeavor or a cultural endeavor. It's time to take action. The power of creativity. Success allows for a life of luxury. Wonderful. Okay, so let's ask for any other messages that the angels want you to know. Um, anything that's important that maybe they want to highlight. Uh, any okay here we go we got transformation a significant life experience that requires changes to be made okay you're making some big changes powerful and unexpected revelations you're breaking free from procrastination and you're releasing old belief systems this is the end of a situation that's bringing you relief okay um and it's ending sadness this is an opportunity for happiness a weight off of your shoulders through thursday friday saturday maybe you're even ending an addiction or a melodramatic reaction okay make sure you're not focusing on the negative no matter what you do you don't want anything to be pulling you back god bless you libra and that's what i have for you i'll see you next week bye now Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or perfectly fine christmas by lajeel hunt she is mental chatter musings spotlight author of the month perfectly fine christmas is available everywhere books are sold in addition to that it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year it's a christmas novel so please don't hesitate to read and review it is the bookish thing to do in addition to that you can check out freestyle friday with the facebook group i see you reading and chatting every friday if you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. E-Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So that's for the 23rd, 24th, and 25th going right into Christmas. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. And let's get into it. On Thursday, the sun is in Capricorn, your sector of shared finances, endings, new beginnings, and things you're passionate about. And this is where you need to choose wisely. If you have any placements between zero and four degrees of Pisces and or Scorpio, you have an opportunity coming into you. 
to make some shared finances, to either work on something you're passionate about, to garner some shared finances during your daily routines. For some of you, it could be something as small as picking the right lottery ticket to win shared finances. For others of you, it could be picking the right job to garner shared finances or the right resources to garner shared finances in career. What to work on. Uh, you know, what passions you want to work on. You know, you have to choose wisely. Don't do something for nothing or don't put a bunch of energy into something that's not going to give you a return. If you have placements between zero and four degrees, you want to look at that in your chart, okay? Now, um, in the morning, the moon in Leo at 19 degrees is going to try and vest in Sagittarius. So this is some sort of blessing coming into you through one of your relationships. It's going to be communicated to you maybe through a sibling, a neighbor, someone in your networks of people. It could even be uh, about a neighborhood. Either way it goes, there's going to be some sort of blessing comes in that's success for you. You know, this is where you're protected. And if you have placements between 16 and 22 degrees of Leo or Sagittarius, take advantage of that blessing. You know, this this could even be a blessing in, I'd say, um, hmm, some of you are trying to move or something like that. You could even, uh, that could even be aspecting you as well. Okay. But it's a blessing coming into you nonetheless. And it looks like it could be success in career, success in travel. Maybe you're traveling with a partner, you know, even if it's short distance travel, you know, it could be that as well. Maybe the news is coming to you through short distance travel, maybe through the mail or something. Now, Saturn in Aquarius is going to square Uranus and Taurus. So there's going to be some sort of sudden restriction or responsibility, maybe an argument, a fight, because this is reckless, aggressive energy. This could even be you lending somebody a helping hand and hurting yourself or having an accident. If you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of Aquarius or Taurus, you can expect this energy to be around on Thursday and on Friday. So be mindful of that if you have placements between that 18, 8 to 14 degrees of Aquarius or Taurus. Now, on Friday... The sun is in Capricorn at two degrees. Success can be had in the literary field, even in this field of education, if you have placements between zero and five degrees of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Now, this could bring into you shared finances behind the scenes. Maybe this is something you've been waiting for for home and family. Maybe this is um, you having a rebirth, an ending or new beginning in home and family, moving into a new home. Maybe this is you making a sacrifice to, to garner shared finances behind the scenes. Maybe a sex and intimacy see that's sweetening and you're enjoying the fruits of your labor it could be any of those things those blessings coming into you if you have those placements between zero and five degrees of capricorn taurus or virgo now there's also going to be a lucky assistance or opportunity coming in because of the quintile from jupiter and aquarius at 29 degrees to Uranus and Taurus at 11 degree. So remember, we were talking about that Taurus at 11 degree angle, bringing in that tension. Now this is help coming in to help you ascend. It's helping you ascend in your, uh, you know, beh behind the scenes. Everybody might not even know you're ascending. This is lucky for you and you're ascending because of your education and skills. You're ascending because of what you think and preach. You might even be ascending in education. You know, some of you might be elevating, going to another you know, uh, grade, you know, you know, moving up. I don't think this is the time where you move up to another grade, but you could be completing something, you know, and moving on to something else. And this is a lucky opportunity to make yourself look better for you to ascend on some sort of level, whether it's spiritually, morally, with education or through travel, it's there. If you have placements between 26 and 29 degrees of Aquarius, between eight and 14 degrees of Taurus, or zero to three degrees of Pisces, this lucky opportunity is definitely aspecting for you. So be ready for it. Now, the moon in Virgo at seven degrees is going to square Mars and Sagittarius at seven degrees. So you're going to be putting a lot of energy and challenges into your relationships. And you might find yourself over giving to those in home and family. And, and if you're overspending and you might be thinking like, it's all right, I'll get some money in. It's cool. You know, and you might find yourself being too generous if you have placements between four and 10 degrees of Virgo or Sagittarius. So be very careful of that. Okay. Now, the uh, shortly after, a couple hours later, the moon in Virgo is going to make a faded aspect to Chiron and Aries at eight degrees. So if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Aries or Virgo, some type of healing could come into you. A goal could be accomplished, maybe through friends and social groups. Um, but it's directly aspecting home and family as well. All right. So there's some sort of, you know, maybe some type of justice prevails and comes into you. You're accomplishing a goal. Some healing comes in. Um, 
you know, but it's, it's healing your image, you know, maybe even with your friends. Um, maybe a goal is accomplished through a home-based business. Something is going on here. If you have those placements between that, uh, five and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aries. Okay. Now on Christmas Saturday, the sun is in Capricorn. Okay. That one flipped over and these two flipped over. Whoa, at three degrees, okay? If you have placements between zero and six degrees of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus, success and justice is coming in. In fact, if you have placements between zero and six degrees of, I'd even say Pisces and Scorpio, you got assistance coming in. So either way, that's justice for you, okay? Now, you're going to have some type of clarity as to how to move forward because you're trying to expand um, past some type of conflicts and fights because of you being vested in your own interests you know sometimes you were fighting a battle that you were determined to win that you said i'm going to win at all costs so now clarity is coming in as to how you can expand past these challenges and things like that this week now you know uh venus is going to be right up conjunct pluto at 25 degrees so if you have placements in capricorn between 22 and 28 degrees i'd say virgo and and uh Taurus too. This is a big transformation for you. You're transforming your area of uh, shared finances in a huge way. You're transforming your area of sex and intimacy in a huge way. You're transforming your areas of endings and new beginnings in a huge way if you have placements between 22 and 28 degrees of Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, okay? And behind the scenes, you could really get some blessings into home and family because of it. Now, Mars is going to trine Chiron and Aries. So your area of relationships, you're going to get healing through those relationships because blessings through challenges are going to come in. And this is where you might feel a little egoic or prideful because this is where slanderers may have been slandering your name. Friends may have been slandering your name and now they have to eat crow or ding dong the witch is dead if somebody's been putting bad juju out there on you because the people that have been putting bad juju out there on people are getting their just dues now they are getting they've been getting their just dues but they not now they finally got tired of getting things backfired on them so now you know either they calmed down or they're going to continue to get their just dues if they continue to mess with people but this is where you're going to forge forward if you have placements in sagittarius and aries between five and eleven degrees success is coming in you got the wheel of fortune you got a second judgment coming into you you should always reevaluate re your um your actions when you get the judgment card but You've been waiting for this. You've been really up in your head about this. You've been trying to uh, emotionally uh, hold it together and strategize, you know, but, and, and sometimes you were lost and distant in your thoughts about this. But now you have victory coming in if you have those placements. Now, the moon in Virgo trines Mercury and Capricorn. So if you have placements between 15 and 21 degrees of Capricorn or Virgo, good communication about shared finances, sex and intimacy, endings and new beginnings or things that you're passionate about are going to come in and it's going to bless home and family this transformation is going to bless that area of home and family that's going to be a rebirth of beautiful communication okay yeah and this could be something this could be something where you had uh you know you felt like you weren't going to get before Maybe this is something you were hoping and wishing for. And then at a certain point, you start feeling kind of hopeless. You could also be experiencing some type of dissatisfaction or greed or materialism. So you want to be mindful of that, not being too greedy. Okay, if you have any delays in your plans, you have to get out of that, that vanity. You know, even in love relationships or friendships, because it only uh, causes division. OK, you want to be very, very mindful of that. OK, and be mindful of being too lost up in your thoughts as well, causing division. Now, Pallas and Pisces at 14 degrees will sextile Juno and Capricorn. So if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of Capricorn or Pisces, you have an opportunity to make a, a commitment and garner shared finances. Make a commitment and work on something you're passionate about. Make a commitment to a new uh, a beginning you want to start or create an ending you want. Okay, and this is about career. But anything you do in career, remember this, this is going to require you taking a grounded approach. Okay. You have to ground team uh, creativity and reality, okay? And if it's um, a team between three or more people, then uh, make sure you're vested in your own interest and you keep your cards closely to your chest, especially if you're trying to win at all costs, 
Okay, that's going to be very, very important because, you know, when you're working with other people in a team, you never know what kind of crap they're coming with. But you got some celebrations in the home aspect and you where you felt left out in the cold before. Um, you know, just make sure you're taking care of your deeper needs. That's going to be important. OK. And like I said, you'll have this opportunity in career to utilize your talents and it's going to take a lot of ambition. But, you know, hey, this is a wonderful opportunity if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of Pisces or Capricorn. Now, let's see if we have any other messages for Thursday, Friday, Saturday for what you'll be dealing with from the fairy tarot deck. Oh, we had two shootout. OK, um, manage your resources wisely. Achieve a balance on how you want to spend and save money. Help out those who are less fortunate, but don't, you know, overthrow yourself. OK, don't overdo it. Remember that. The desire for, for a desire for a more meaningful life is coming in. You're choosing to move on and make major life changes. A romantic partner you can trust is around you or aspecting you or may come into your life. Excellent advice that comes from the heart is available to you Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So get involved in a cultural or creative endeavor. Now, let's see. Let's see what is the most likely outcomes for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, we got two already. That's wonderful. All right. Find or be a mentor. Take a break from society. Commit to your spiritual growth. So you need to uh, grow spiritually. You could need to commit a little more to your spirituality, your spirit team, some growth in spirituality. Uh, make sure you're doing the right things in spirituality. Um, be assertive when it comes to what you know is right. Um, things will go your way and a good company to work for will be in, in view. OK, immediate action. There's something that's going to come about, either a passionate relationship or a challenge that you're going to successfully navigate because you're going to take immediate action on it. Now, let's see. Is there anything that the angels want us to know? So we're going to ask the angel tarot deck. Oh, that came right out. Victory. Wise choices that bring public recognition, success, promotions, awards or scholarships. That is what you have. God bless you. I hope this helps. I'll see you next week, Gemini. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or Perfectly Fine Christmas by LaJill Hunt. She is Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight Author of the Month. Perfectly Fine Christmas is available everywhere books are sold. In addition to that, it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year. It's a Christmas novel. So please don't hesitate to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do. In addition to that, you can check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group I See You Reading and Chatting every Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. Hello, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising sign people. E. Ray Taranik here with your tarot and astrology for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That will be the 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. Let's get into it. It looks like on Thursday, the sun is in Capricorn at one degree. So this is where you want to try to... Um, oh, and it's affecting placements between zero and four degrees. This is where you want to choose wisely. You don't want to waste any good opportunities or, uh, you know, put a lot of effort in. And you, it's where you're doing something for nothing behind the scenes, working in your solitude. Maybe even it's something you're pushing to heal um, or you're trying to garner some type of closure as it pertains to something you're working on behind the scenes. Maybe you're trying to 
bring in some type of shared finances for home and family. But there are plenty of good opportunities out there, especially in your areas of Pisces and Scorpio. If you have placements in those signs between zero and four degrees where you can really generate some money or some resources in career or doing whatever it is you master. Now, Saturn at 11 degrees Aquarius uh, is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So it's going to be affecting placements between 8 and 14 degrees of Aquarius and Taurus, where some sudden restriction or responsibility is going to come out of nowhere uh, via home and family to you. So this could be somewhere where um, hopefully you're not clashing with anyone in home and family or fighting. Um be mindful of being careful when you're walking around the house because you could hurt yourself. Um, but you and you could hurt yourself during a restriction or responsibility, you know, it could be something as small as, um, you know, somebody your assistant like moving the couch and you could mess around and hurt your back or something like that. So just be very mindful if you have those placements, um, not to hurt yourself or anything like that, okay. Now, but there's going to, it looks like there's some little clash there. Um, if you have placements in Leo between um, uh, that that degree, you could see yourself maybe even getting into it with someone, uh, a relationship you have in home and family. If you have it in Leo between 8 and 14 degrees. Now, around 8 a.m. on Thursday, um, the moon in Leo at 19 degrees, which is your sector of relationships, is going to trine Vesta in your sector of friends, goals, and social groups. So there's some type of devotion to friends you have or devotion to making a goal come into fruition that has to do with friends or maybe it has to do with travel. But you can have success here and even in career, okay? Um, and this is an angle where you are protected, okay, within this, especially within this relationship, if you have placements between 16 and 22 degrees of Leo or Sagittarius, this is definitely aspecting you where this blessing is going to be bestowed on you or a goal will be accomplished. Now, on Friday, the sun is in Capricorn at two degrees, so it's affecting placements between zero and five degrees. Success can be had in the literary field or even in education, especially if you have placements in Virgo or Taurus. Um, Scorpio or even Pisces between that zero and five degrees because you could be bringing money in whether it's regular money whether it's money you make yourself or shared finances uh, through I'd say you know work through you utilizing your skills or through you working behind the scenes or some money could just come to you behind the scenes maybe it's money you've been waiting for in the literary field or in education but with this trying to the moon in Virgo saying that you're going to get some shared finances in this blessing is pretty much you know guaranteed if you have placements between zero and five degrees of Capricorn or Virgo okay this is because of hard work you've done so you can enjoy the fruits of your labor on Friday Saturn at 11 degrees Aquarius is going to square Uranus and Taurus. So if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of Aquarius and Taurus, for you, this is more so about home and family. Are you in home and family? Your restrictions and responsibilities and the energies you have to put into home and family. But this is a reckless, um, aggressive energy. So, oh, you know, or you might be agitated through what you're having to do and accidents are possible. So make sure you slow down and don't uh, rush too much. Okay. Because you can hurt yourself helping someone else now jupiter and aquarius at 29 degrees is going to quintile uranus and taurus at 11 degrees bringing in this kind of helpful uh creative opportunity to you where some assistance can arise and this would have to do with your area uh with you directly and your area of home and family so this is some lucky help coming in okay um let's see especially if you have placements in aquarius between 8 and 14 degrees um, no, Taurus between 8 and 14 degrees or Aquarius between 26 and 29 degrees. Mm, I'd even say, what's after Aquarius? Pisces. I'd even say going into Pisces between 0 and 2 degrees, maybe even up to 3, you know, because it pushes over. Now, uh, also on Friday, the moon in Virgo at seven degrees is going to square Mars and Sagittarius. This is where you don't want to be too generous. Virgo is your area of shared finances and things you're passionate about. So if you have placements between four and 10 degrees of Virgo or Sagittarius, you might get really passionate and, you know, you really want to just accomplish your goals and, uh, you know, you, you're just 
you might overdo it. You might overdo it spending on your friends. You might overdo it buying things for people, you know. Just do the responsible thing and try not to overdo it, okay, on that day. Now, the moon in Virgo at 8 degrees is going to make a faded aspect to Chiron and Aries at 8 degrees. So if you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aries, this is bringing in healing to you. And it's going to be communicated to you through a sibling, maybe someone in your networks of people, maybe a neighbor or a neighborhood, or it has something to do with those uh, with those things, you know. And right, and this looks like some type of shared finances coming in, maybe healing something for you. Okay, shared finances being communicated to you in some kind of way. Maybe it's through home and family because you just had the Three of Pentacles come out in the Empress card, so you are feeling great. You are feeling abundant. Maybe this is a good relationship. Um, you know, you're feeling the fruits of your labor, whether it's in business, whether you're rising in the ranks amongst your peers, whether you are buying a new home, whether some some type of blessing is coming in that blesses the soul and it's pushing you past where slanderers have been, you know, uh playing on your your reputation or your ego and things like that. Now you don't want to be too egoic and prideful, but this is where slanderers cannot hurt you. This is where whatever they messed up is coming back and it's being healed. And like I said, most likely it's something being communicated to you about your passions or something where you're garnering some type of shared finances, okay? For some, it could be sex and intimacy. Now, the moon in Virgo is going to try and mark your in Capricorn at 18 degrees. So if you have any placements between 5 and 11 degrees, um, or 15, I'm sorry, and 21 degrees. 15 and 21 degrees of Virgo or Capricorn, a blessing can be communicated to you of shared finances once again. Okay, and this could be out of nowhere, you know, where your rebirth is beginning and you had no idea that it was even coming because this is something behind the scenes, you know, maybe something that you've sacrificed for, something that you've waited for, okay, something that you've gone in and researched for, something that you've plotted toward over and over again, trying to get, you're trying to put one foot in front of the other, trying to get this. And this is at the same time that Venus retrograde is joining in um, with Pluto, you know, it's coming conjunct at that 25 degree mark. So if you have placements in Capricorn between 22 and 28 degrees, or I'd even say Virgo or um, uh, Virgo or Taurus within those degrees. Heck, I'd even say, uh, yeah, yeah. This is about a career transformation or some type of transformation because of money, the money you make. Maybe you're feeling good because of the pleasure it provides you. It could be a transformation in a romantic relationship at that angle. Okay. Now, Pallas and Pisces at 14 degrees is going to sextile Juno and Capricorn at 14 degrees. So if you have any placements in Capricorn or Pisces between 11 and 17 degrees, this is an opportunity to utilize your talents, you know, behind the scenes, work in your solitude in some kind of way um, and garner some type of money or resources. Okay. This is a great, these next few days are just going to be really good for you generating resources and money, which makes sense because it's around Christmas time but this last angle is a dream come true and this is something that's taking ambition okay this is something that's taking ambition and this is about a rebirth a rebirth that allows you to expand okay allows you to expand you just want to make sure that you do whatever research you need to do and take time to relax okay don't be um so overly ambitious that you're not taking care of your deeper needs Okay, have patience. Okay, have patience, and everything is going to work out and come in for you. Now, let's see what messages we have from the uh, fairy oracle um, as far as what you'll be dealing with for the next few days. What you'll be dealing with for the next few days, Aquarius. What you'll be dealing with for the next few days. Let's see here, and then we'll get more messages. Okay, so these are your messages for the next few days. Seek out an intellectual solution to your problem. The need to act quickly and decisively. Sudden, unexpected changes. So you have some sudden, unexpected changes coming, but it looks like on the card, this, the illustration, the, I believe this is a possum on the card or some type of, uh, I don't know, rat looking thing, but it's happy. You know, I'm, I'm thinking these are going to be great changes. 
news worth celebrating is coming in. Announcements, maybe even weddings, graduations, or births, just friends you cherish around you, people in general that you cherish. Trust that there is a reason for everything that happens. Remove yourself from any negative emotions around you because you don't want to be focusing on anything that frightens or worries you. That's going to be important. Now, let's see what your most likely outcomes are going to be for these next few days. One more card, got two out already. Um, okay, here we go. So we got a wonderful news is on the way. Smart choices that bring rewards, success, and public recognition. That is wonderful. A brilliant success, the freedom to go in any direction, the, a journey that is now complete, which is the world card. That is awesome. And then you have bringing, bring fun into everything you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs, an exceptional talent for multitasking. Wonderful. So you'll be multitasking, but you'll be doing it, you know, getting through things with flying colors. Let's ask the, um, the Angel Wisdom deck. Uh, the angels if there are any anything any other messages they want to give you anything they want you to know anything that's important that they want you to be aware of for these next few days for these next few days uh oh all right that's too many i want to take all of those we just need one more and you'll be all set here Messages of love and light, peace, prosperity, truth, and abundance, clarity for Aquarius. All right. Okay. So they gave me two more, three more. <laughs> okay. So we got romantic, flirtatious, introspective, fickle, falling in love. You could be being swept off of your feet. There could be a sudden love affair, or there could be a lack of balance within a relationship. Maybe you're too head over your heels for somebody. Okay, uh, situations or topics that make your heart flutter are also going to be coming about. Let's see, the illusion of being trapped. Okay, so there's somewhere where you feel trapped with something. Maybe it's an addiction. Maybe it's an unhealthy habit. Um, accept responsibility for your situation so you can make choices to support a path to happiness. Brilliant experience, humorous and kind of judgmental you might be a little judgmental uh release situations or people that no longer serve you and see the humor in difficult situations focus on your career right now protect what you've created and prepare to never give up ask your angels for help okay so if you are having issues if you feel like you can't carry something if it's too heavy for you Okay, ask your spirit team to take that off of you. Okay, because you are protected. If you're going and signing any contracts or anything like that, you already know what I always say. Read the fine print and things like that. Make sure that you uh getting your copyrights before you share your creative works. And this is what I have for you. God bless you. Merry Christmas. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E-Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or Perfectly Fine Christmas by LaGille Hunt. She is Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight Author of the Month. Perfectly Fine Christmas is available everywhere books are sold. In addition to that, it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year. It's a Christmas novel. So please don't hesitate to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do. In addition to that, you can check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group. I see you reading and chatting every Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. 
Hello Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. Eray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So this is going to be the 23rd through the 25th. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. And let's get into it. Okay, so on Thursday, the sun is in Capricorn, your sector of long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. This is an opportunity that's going to come up. You're going to need to choose wisely because you want to take the good opportunity and not do something for nothing, not be wasting your time. If you have placements between zero and four degrees of Pisces or Scorpio, you definitely have an opportunity coming up for you to expand your reach through your friends and your social groups, maybe even to travel with friends or to garner some type of partnership through your education and skills, what you think and preach. OK, maybe this is a goal of yours. Check your chart to see if you have those placements. Now, in the morning on Thursday, the moon in Leo, your sector of home and family, is going to trine Vesta in Sagittarius. So some type of devotion that you have to your area of shared finances. Maybe you promise, you know, to give some money. Maybe it's sex and intimacy that you were promised or you promised. Maybe it has to do with endings and new beginnings or things you're passionate about. But something is going on there and you're devoted to something. You're passionate about something and you're bringing in some sort of blessing to home and family. Maybe you're traveling with home and family. Maybe that's the blessing. Okay. But either way, you're protected here and you're going to see success in what you're passionate about if you have placements between 15 and 22 degrees of Leo or Sagittarius. Now, Saturn on Thursday is going to square Uranus and Taurus. So this is going to be a sudden restriction or responsibility placed on you. This could be you putting a lot of energy into something. This is a reckless, aggressive energy though. So accidents can happen. So I want you to be very careful as it pertains to career and you in career, you walking around the job, you traveling, you doing uh, your duties and responsibilities and possibly hurting yourself or arguing with somebody at work. So be mindful of that because that's going to be the energies are going to be in the air and on Thursday as well as on Friday you'll have to worry about that as well not worry but it's aspecting you if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of Aquarius and Taurus on both of those days now moving along to Friday since we have already uh, jumping into Friday the sun is in Capricorn at two degrees and success can be had in the literary field or in the field of education, especially if you have placements in Capricorn, Virgo or Taurus between zero and five degrees. And this sharpens your image. This sharpens your image because of your education and skills, what you think and preach. Maybe even long distance travel is uh, aspected here or you're dealing with someone at a distance from you. You could be pulling someone in towards you uh, through a creative endeavor. You could be traveling with family, a lover or children and enjoying the fruits of your labor if you have placements between that zero and five degrees enjoy the blessing Jupiter and Aquarius at 29 degrees will quintile Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So that angle of restriction and responsibility of Taurus that you were having problems with, there's some help jumping in here, a lucky assistance uh, or opportunities coming into you if you have placements in Taurus between 8 and 14 degrees, Aquarius between 26 and 29 degrees, or even Pisces between, I'd say, 0 and maybe 3 degrees, 2 degrees. Where something is coming in, helping you to sharpen your image, it's helping you to ascend in some sort of way in career or whatever it is you master. Now, the moon will be in Virgo at seven degrees. And once it gets there, it'll trine Mars. No, it'll square Mars and Sagittarius. So you're going to putting a lot of energy and challenges into garnering shared finances, into creating the endings and new beginnings you want. It could even be sex and intimacy. OK, but it has to do with a romantic partner. It has to do with a creative endeavor where you might be putting in extra energy or a child. You might be buying, spending shared finances on a child or a lover and spending too much money because this is an angle of generosity. So uh, if you have placements in Virgo or Sagittarius between four and 10 degrees, make sure you don't overspend and do too much because you feel like, oh, I got it. It'll come in. I'll get some money later. Watch out for being over generous. OK, now. Uh, on that same day, there will be some healing that comes into that sector of uh, romance, creative endeavors, and children. And it's directly going to aspect you behind the scenes. It aspects how you look behind the scenes. You know, um, maybe even a secret, uh, a faded secret is told to you that everybody doesn't know about and justice comes into you. If you have placements between 5 and 11 degrees of Virgo or Aries, there is some healing coming into you. Some justice is coming into you and a romantic partner, you and a creative endeavor, or you or in a child now on Saturday 
The sun is in Capricorn at three degrees. This is on Christmas. So if you have any placements between zero and... Whoa, those popped out crazy. Between zero and six degrees. Okay, what is going on? If you have placements between zero and six degrees of Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus, Pisces, or Sagittarius, or Scorpio, you can expect justice or success to come into you through some type of opportunity and assistance to expand your reach or create generate a partnership. Or this is just an opportunity for you to travel, maybe enjoy the fruits of your labor and things like that. Um, with Venus here coupled with Venus here coupled with Pluto, there is some huge transformation going on in your area of long distance travel, education and skills, what you think and preach. If you have placements between 22 and 28 degrees of Capricorn, I'd say Virgo and Taurus too, okay? You could be transforming a romantic relationship. You could be transforming through uh, money coming in. You could be transforming like a partnership, a husband and wife could get a bunch of money in, uh, you know, maybe your taxes, your child tax credit or whatever it is. It could come in and you could just gain a bunch of money. But this is about some type of transformation in, uh, I would say, your education or something. So this even could be a rebate check from school or something like that or, you know, any of those things. But it's definitely a, a, a big blessing coming in and it's causing you to transform. Now, with the moon in Virgo, okay, wait, we talked about, okay, so with the moon in Virgo, when it gets to uh, 18 degrees, it's going to try Mercury and Capricorn. So your area of romance, creative endeavors and children is going to have some sort of blessing coming in. Okay, that's going to be communicated to you at a distance from you. So maybe it's about travel. Maybe it's through travel. Maybe it's about your education and skills. Maybe you're the one communicating the blessing to others and family. Okay, or the offer to travel. There's definitely healing coming into you behind the scenes. You know, uh, just make sure you're not being too egoic. Um, but success can come in if you have placements, even in Sagittarius or Aries between five and 11 degrees. Okay. This is a great, uh, this is great for you. Now you have this, this, um, you were, you weren't feeling as confident about this before because you got the six of wands upside down. So that means you were maybe you felt like you were going through some type of fall from grace. You know, maybe you felt like, um, you you're blaming yourself you know you feel guilty or you feel like you don't have the energy to come back up from this fall from grace and it and shockingly you know you know some type of decision is going to be made about some type of job or money offer or something like that something is going to be looks like it's going to be offered to you that is genuine you know maybe it's a, about a new creative endeavor maybe these are new friends shockingly coming in but something is going to be a, a a surprise it looks like you know or maybe uh where there was a tower yeah you're going to get news that's going to come in about something about the arts maybe if you're a patron of the arts Something's going to come in, some type of information about your creative works, something where you've been lost and up in your head because uh, this this gossip comes in or this person comes in. And maybe you might see him as gossipy or somebody who has in, unbridled enthusiasm, you know, tells you, you know, something is going to come or you're going to get something. You don't necessarily believe him, but there's some celebrations coming in from the past and it has something to do with generational wealth this is something that you were hoping for but you had kind of lost hope a little bit because you were like what is going on you know this could have to do with a home-based business you didn't know if you were going to be able to bring this generational wealth in but it looks like you've had patience and now this equal give and take is aspecting you if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of pisces and capricorn you even have um uh, an opportunity to utilize your talents your friends are going to allow you to expand your reach through social groups if you're willing to commit to some of them as far as your education and skills or maybe they want you to commit by coming in and uh, agreeing to speak on a certain day or something like that okay there's a second chance coming in um and this second chance is bringing you back to a feeling of authority. Maybe this is a partnership that has to do with a man that's in authority. Uh, Aries, um, I mean, the emperor is usually a male who looks older than he is. 
um but he is a man of authority so it could be that as well okay but uh, you might be a aries you know moon or rising sign person so this might be you just coming back into a position of th authority um and ambition because you have these opportunities to utilize you know uh, your talents and expand your reach through these commitments now let's ask to see if there are any uh what you're going what else you're going to be dealing with for thursday friday saturday Okay, falling in love suddenly, being swept off of your feet, needing to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. So if you're meeting somebody that you're falling head over heels with or you're getting into a situation where you feel very emotional, you're going to make sure you calm it down. Okay, just don't get too, you know, flighty with it. Trust your intuition. Okay, careful reflection before taking action with anything. Okay, especially if you get some gossipy news that comes into you for you to take an opportunity, research it, take time to meditate to get the right answers. But no more procrastinating as far as creating. Your powers come in after you make this decision. Confusion might arise if you try to overanalyze too much. Okay, um, set aside your concerns. OK, um, you know, for the holiday over Christmas, you you have time to make a decision after you meditate, you know, get some sleep. Then you go ahead and, and you answer uh, whatever this offer is or um, maybe this communication that's coming in because wonderful news uh, is likely to arrive. Let's see what your most likely outcomes are for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I'm not going to take those because those kind of fell out. Let's see what your most likely outcomes are for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so your first outcome is be grateful. You have much to celebrate. Deep feelings of peace and happiness. A contented personal life. Also, be assertive when it comes to what you want and what you know is right. Everything is going to go your way. A good person or a good company to work for is going to come into play if you're not already uh, at a good company to work for. Okay, you have the will of fortune. So delays are over. Sudden, expect, sudden and unexpected good luck comes for you. A new car or even travel. That is one dirt well now let's see what other messages the angels have for you if they want to tell you anything we might have left out forgotten anything they want you to know about over this christmas holiday for thursday friday saturday um let's see what the that's too many i'm not taking those okay um make sure you maintain balance because i did eyeball that card um, okay, the world, you got the world, a brilliant success, a time of joyful accomplishment and spiritual enlightenment, freedom to do what you want, be proud of yourself. That is your message. Wonderful. God bless you, Taurus. I hope this helped. I'll see you next week. Bye now. Hello, kings and queens. E. Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges. Take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or perfectly fine christmas by lajeel hunt she is mental chatter musings spotlight author of the month perfectly fine christmas is available everywhere books are sold in addition to that it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year it's a christmas novel so please don't hesitate to read and review it is the bookish thing to do in addition to that you can check out freestyle friday with the facebook group i see you reading and chatting every friday if you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. Hello, Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. e -Ray Taronic here with your astrology and tarot for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So that will be the 23rd through the 25th. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I am putting out. And let's get into it. On Thursday, the sun is in Capricorn at one degree. This is 
affecting placements between zero and four degrees, particularly Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, because those are your areas of opportunity and assistance. If you have placements in Capricorn, Virgo, or Capricorn, Scorpio, or Pisces between zero and four degrees, this is where you're going to have some type of lucky opportunity coming into you, or not lucky opportunity, but some sort of opportunity that comes into you, you and a lover, you and a child, you to hang out, maybe you to partner with someone creatively, but this is definitely aspecting you. Something is going to be communicated to you where somebody wants to maybe even go out with you. But this is an iffy one because you want to make sure you're not wasting your time. You want to make sure you're not doing something for nothing. So you got to make sure that this is a relationship that's worthwhile. Okay. Now, Saturn and Aquarius is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees on this Thursday. And it's going to carry over into Friday as well. This is a reckless energy. It's an aggressive energy. Um, this also might be where you have some sort of restriction or responsibility placed on you where you're putting a lot of extra energy into work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others. Maybe you're traveling for someone, riding back and forth. Maybe you're utilizing your education and skills, what you think and preach to do this. Maybe you're arguing with someone and getting into it with someone during travel. So you wanna be very, very mindful if you have placements between eight and 14 degrees uh, of Aquarius or Taurus of any of those things that I just named and accidents are possible as well. So watch out on Thursday and Friday for both of those things. Now at 8 a.m. on Thursday, the moon in Leo at 19 degrees is going to try and Vesta in Sagittarius. So this is about some devotion you have to home and family that's bringing in some sort of blessing uh, via behind the scenes you know it's everybody's not going to know about it something maybe you sacrifice for something that may have been a secret okay that comes through but you're protected here all right and this is this could note success in career for you as well if you have placements between 16 and 22 degrees of leo or sagittarius now on friday the sun is in Capricorn at two degrees. So success can be had in the literary field or the educational field, especially if you have placements between zero and five degrees of Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. And this could be you brightening your image through what you think and preach, through long distance travel, as it pertains to someone at a distance from you, through education and skills, through your philosophy, your morals, your spirituality. You could be traveling with children, a romantic partner. You could be going out and having fun. You could be... Um, Having someone from um, like one of your kids from college come and visit you or you going to visit them. You could be pulling lovers in at a distance from you or pulling in people simply because of what you think and preach. And you deserve these fruits of your labor if you have placements between that zero and five degrees of Virgo, Capricorn or Taurus. Now, Jupiter is also going to bring you some type of lucky opportunity because of the quintile between Aquarius, Jupiter and Aquarius and Uranus and Taurus. So if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of Taurus or 26 to 29 degrees of Aquarius or 0 to 2 degrees of Pisces, you have some type of lucky assistance or some type of lucky opportunity coming into you that's going to help you to ascend as it pertains to work, health, daily routines and where you are of service to others. And you're ascending because of your education and skills, because of what you think and preach, because of your morals, because of your spirituality. Okay. The moon in Virgo at seven degrees is going to square Mars in Sag Sagittarius at seven degrees. So if you have placements between four and 10 degrees, don't be too overly generous as it pertains to you, um, you know, you giving too much to home and family. You could find yourself really overdoing it. So you want to just be mindful that you're not spending too much. That's going to be important for you. Now, Virgo is eventually going to get to eight degrees a couple hours later, and it's going to make a faded aspect to Aries. So it's going to heal your shared finances. It's going to heal sex and intimacy, endings, new beginnings, things you're passionate about. And this is fate faded for you. You've been waiting for your image to be healed in this area. You've been waiting to get these shared finances come in so you could finally have this reprieve or this uh, passion ignited in your relationship so you can have this healing take place. You deserve this. If you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Virgo and Aries, you can expect justice to prevail for you on Friday. Now on Saturday, okay, let me get, now on Saturday, um, the sun in Capricorn is at three degrees. So if you have placements between zero and six degrees, I'd say of uh, um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, even Pisces and Scorpio, you could have justice coming into you on Christmas Day. Okay, definitely, because those are areas of opportunities and assistance and areas of blessings. 
where things can be communicated to you. Now, Venus retrograde is coupling with Pluto and Capricorn. So this is your sector of romance, creative endeavors, and children where there's going to be a huge rebirth if you have placements between 22 and 28 degrees. And this rebirth is going to be of romance, a rebirth in your romance, a rebirth in your finances. It could even be a rebirth in uh, your education and skills, what you think and preach. You know, it could be a rebirth in your creative endeavors. Either way, if you have those placements between that 22 and 28 degrees of that Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, you can expect some type of victory uh, to be coming in for you. Some type of win. Some Oh, you got the Ten of Cups too. Your happy family is rushing in toward you. And with, uh, I think we already talked about, um, well, maybe we didn't. Um, Mars and Sagittarius, your area of home and family is going to bring healing in. Yeah, I said that of shared finances. We talked about that. Um, but Virgo is also going to try and Mercury and Capricorn at 18 degrees. So if you have placements between 15 and 21 degrees of Virgo or Capricorn, you're going to have some type of blessing coming into you and a romantic partner, you and a child or you within a creative endeavor. Okay. And this is a blessing that you've been waiting for a rebirth that you've been waiting for, whether it's with a romantic partner, with a child or with your friends that you hang out with, you know, now Pallas and Pisces. Is going to sextile Juno and Capricorn, so some type of lucky, uh, some type of assistance or opportunity for you to commit to something in the area of romance, creative endeavors, and children is going to pop up, and it's going to allow you to uh, showcase your talents with a partner. Okay, um, it could involve a commitment. Maybe you're even committing to a partner, like a child. Maybe you're doing a um, a, a creative endeavor with a child, or maybe you and a, a lover are. Um, participating in some type of creative endeavor yeah you got the queen of pentacles so that is yeah some type of creative endeavor you're delving into this is a new opportunity you've had anxiety about anxiety about it but you've been steadily plotting toward garnering this opportunity now you have these new opportunities and assistance coming into you continue to be a patron of the arts because this is going to bring in a lot of victory for you now Let's talk about uh, if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of Capricorn or Pisces, that's aspecting you. It's going to take ambition, though, just so you know. Let's see what you're going to be dealing with for Thursday, Friday, Saturday from the uh, fairy oracle. Okay, that's two already. Okay, so we got the lovers, which says true love that is long lasting or choices that are made from the heart are going to come in. You could also be returning to good health, looking at your health and trying to change your health regimen. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not. A lack of confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. Don't let a, self, a lack of self-confidence uh, deter you from going for your dreams and aspirations, okay? It's time to, and that's the next card. It's time to go after your dreams and aspirations. Do something that expands your horizons. Let your creativity take flight. Now, let's look at your most likely outcomes for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. What most likely outcomes do they want to give us? Your first most likely outcome is the six of summer. And the six of summer says child, children or childhood. The return of people or romances from the past, but you might be remembering events a little differently, whether it's better or in a worse light. You need to step back and see things how they truly are if someone's coming back into the picture. Trust your intuition. Careful reflection before taking action will be needed. Insights will come through meditation, okay? Just be grateful for what you have and celebrate deep feelings of peace and happiness, a contented personal life. That is wonderful. Um, let's see what they want to tell us that we may have left out. What have we maybe left out or forgotten? What do you want Virgo to know? Messages of love and light, peace, prosperity, and abundance, truth and clarity for Thursday, Friday, Saturday. All right, we got two. One of them says the end of a situation that brings relief, sadness, or both. The opportunity. Oh, wait. With the end of a situation that brings relief. Oh, wow. It could bring sadness or it could bring both relief and sadness. This is an opportunity for new happiness and a weight off your shoulders. And it's the end. Of, it could also be the end of a melodramatic reaction or the end of an addiction. In addition to that, you need to have faith that your future is bright and that your dreams will come true. Positive changes will bring an end to challenging times. And the light at the end of the tunnel, you will see it. Just make sure that you maintain balance, okay? Patience, self-control, and balance is going to be very important. God bless you, and I'll see you next week. Bye now.
Hello, kings and queens. e Ray Taronic here, master weaver of mystery suspense thrillers, as well as broadcaster of astrology. First, I'd like to thank you for being here with me today, lending me your ears, your eyes, and your time. I know it is valuable. Therefore, I will be sharing valuable information with you that will help you navigate the week's upcoming challenges, take advantage of the assistance and opportunities aspecting you, and you'll even be able to look forward to the blessings coming your way. Be sure to check out a perfectly fine Christmas or Perfectly Fine Christmas by LaGille Hunt. She is Mental Chatter Musings Spotlight Author of the Month. Perfectly Fine Christmas is available everywhere books are sold. In addition to that, it's the perfect stocking stuffer for this time of year. It's a Christmas novel. So please don't hesitate to read and review. It is the bookish thing to do. In addition to that, you can check out Freestyle Friday with the Facebook group I See You Reading and Chatting every Friday. If you'd like to participate as an artist in Freestyle Friday, just contact Ebony Evans. She's the president of ICU Reading and Chatting Book Club. And still, my newest novel, my psychological thriller, Deadliest Intuition, is available everywhere books are sold. I implore you to read and review. If you like a good psychological thriller, check out that heart-pounding story. I guarantee you won't be disappointed. Let's get into the astrology because we got some exciting things to talk about. Bye now. Hello, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign people. e Ray Taronic here with your messages for tarot and astrology, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, which means that's going to be the 23rd through the 25th, bringing us in through Christmas. Now, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It lets me know you appreciate the content that I'm putting out. Let's get into it. On Thursday, the sun is in your sign at one degree, okay? This is an angle uh, where you want to choose wisely. You don't want to waste good opportunities. You don't want to be working on something for nothing. Your areas of Scorpio and Pisces are areas of assistance and opportunity where you can find opportunities communicated to you through friends to accomplish goals. Um, maybe even through people in your networks of people or neighbors helping you to accomplish goals or even expand your reach, okay? Okay. Now, if you have placements between zero and four degrees of Capricorn, Scorpio, or Pisces, you can expect this assistance or opportunity to be coming for you. Now, also on Thursday, Saturn in Aquarius is going to square Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees. So this is a sudden responsibility or restriction placed on you. Um, this could be a clash with you and a friend. This could be just you putting extra energy into romance, creative endeavors, and children. Okay, all of a sudden, you might have to come out of some money. Okay, so, you know, that's just how it is. And it might irritate you that energy is coming into the next day as well. You know, where you might get irritated by that. You know, it's a reckless energy as well. You might, you know, find yourself irritated because you're having to help people with money or give people money or spend money on Thursday or Friday. So try not to let it agitate you if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of sat, uh, Aquarius or Taurus. Now, on Thursday in the morning, the moon, uh, and, and like I said, that's Thursday and Friday, you're going to be feeling that. But Thursday in the morning, the moon in Leo at 19 degrees is going to try and Vesta in Sagittarius. So a blessing is going to be bestowed on you, whether it's through travel, success and career, what you think and preach. You're protected if you have placements in Leo or Sagittarius between 16 and 22 degrees. OK, and your commitment or your devotion or whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever that devotion or commitment you have to working behind the scenes where you've been making sacrifices and things like that, you can have blessings come into you and those blessings will be you know through sh shared finances you know maybe you working on things you're passionate about brings you shared finances maybe it's sex and intimacy you've been working you know on behind the scenes so you know who knows but it's definitely aspecting that that blessing is coming in to you you know heck you could be traveling with a lover and the passion reignites and that could be your success you know, either way, that's aspecting. Now, on Friday, the sun in Capricorn at two degrees uh, is an angle where success can be had in the literary field and even in education. For you, this is about your ego, your first impressions, your um, how you're seen, your identity, your image. And it could bring in blessings to you if you have placements between zero and five degrees of Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. And those blessings will also... Um, 
be sweetened by what you think and preach your education and skills your morals your spirituality you could be pulling in lovers at a distance from you people that want to collaborate with you creatively also you could be traveling with your children and you could be the one bringing this out to the fore okay but you deserve to enjoy the fruits of your labor so you might even be traveling to enjoy the fruits of your labor if you get information that comes in to say that you are being successful and you have success in the literary field or education, then take advantage of it. You know, take t attend to your deeper needs and enjoy the fruits of your labor, okay? Okay, now at the same time you have this going on, you have a transit, I'm sorry. I got uh, hot cocoa in my mouth. Jupiter in Aquarius at 29 degrees is gonna quintile Uranus and Taurus at 11 degrees on Friday. So while you have that restriction already with Uranus and Taurus, you got some type of lucky assistance or opportunities coming in to help, okay, uh, because of that quintile. It's coming to ease matters in some way as it pertains to money or resources for you when it uh when children romantic partners and uh creative endeavors are concerned or just hanging out having fun somebody's going to offer you some assistance in the form of money or resources if you have placements between 8 and 14 degrees of taurus or 26 to 29 degrees of aquarius or 0 to 2 degrees of pisces okay now the moon in Virgo on Friday is going to square Mars and Sagittarius. So this is an angle of being too generous. You might find yourself overdoing it behind the scenes when you're being of service to someone, when you're helping someone, maybe even helping people at a distance from you. OK, I mean, it could also be you going overboard with your education and skills and telling uh, secrets, telling too many secrets or saying something you shouldn't say. If you have placements in Virgo or Sagittarius between four and 10 degrees, I would advise you to watch out for being overly generous or just overdoing it, you know, or overstating something even. The moon in Virgo, once it gets to eight degrees, it's going to directly aspect Chiron and Aries. So that's going to be a blessing coming in, directly healing your image in home and family, the way you're seen in home and family, the way you feel about home and family, and the way, way you feel about... Um, you know uh, how you can take care of home and family but this is some sort of healing as i said coming into you through and this might have been something you said something you professed you know was going to happen oh it's okay because i'm going to get this money you know it's okay because i'm going to get this money on this day or it's going to be okay because you know some of you are even spiritualists and you could have looked at your tarot cards to find out, you know, what was going to happen. You could have looked at your astrology and been saying, well, I'm supposed to get some money on this day or that day. And, you know, you're waiting for that healing to come in. And on this day, it could come in if you have placements between five and 11 degrees of Virgo and Aries. Justice can prevail for you. Just don't allow yourself to be taken advantage of by anyone in home and family because justice is coming in for you. OK, now. On Saturday, the sun in Capricorn is at three degrees. And this is a day of blessings for those with placements between zero and six degrees of, I'd say, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. You can really, really see success. Um, the only thing is, okay, look at these cards I'm getting here, okay? There's some type of either truth within a relationship or some type of decision needs to be made um, where you are not taking care of your deeper needs. The queen of... Um, the Queen of Cups is upside down and upright. You know, this is talks about compassion. It talks about taking care of your deeper needs. But with the card upside down, this is emotional codependency. Okay, maybe even seeking attention from others. Um, maybe a tendency towards jealousy. Um, maybe you think somebody's unfaithful but you're you're stuck in this self-imposed imprisonment of codependency or emotional insecurity or jealousy you know you're just it, it seems like you might have some let me see what they're giving me next because you got the two of swords the queen of cups upside down and then you got the eight of swords this denial um and uh you know holding yourself in some sort of self-imposed imprisonment you know maybe you're going through some type of stress because it looks like the uh the uh ten of wands wanted to come out yeah you're holding yourself in some type of self-imposed imprisonment maybe it's due to a relationship that maybe someone you see as an empress or um 
Yeah, someone you see as an empress. Uh, and uh, oh, wow, that's too many. And now you're feeling as a, even as a mother, maybe even if you're a mother, you feel like you got all these responsibilities on you and you're in some type of self-imposed imprisonment to where you can't even attend to your deeper needs to make yourself feel abundant. Because maybe all of your you feel like all of your energy is being sucked dry or something like that by somebody. You're going to have to take care of your deeper needs. OK, that's going to be important now. Uh, Mars in Air, Mars and Sagittarius at eight degrees is going to try and Chiron in Aries. So if you have placements between five and eleven degrees, you have some sort of blessing coming in, blessing you behind the scenes. It's healing you behind the scenes. It's bringing you some type of closure or healing in through your solitude, through a uh, sacrifice. Maybe a secret is coming in. Maybe, a, excuse me, maybe a secret is being revealed. But this is a blessing of healing. And this is where you've had uh, slanderers before. This is where you have somebody, uh, you know, talking down on your name, trying to destroy your image. If you have placements in um, Sagittarius or Aries between five and 11 degrees, ding dong, the witch is dead. Okay. Ding dong, the witch is dead. You heard me right. It is done. The slanderers, you know, the, you know, where someone was hurting you behind the, the scenes, putting attacks out on you, on your image, you know, they can't hurt you. They can't hurt you anymore. Um, just make sure you're not being too egoic and too prideful. But, you know, the way those energies were going now, it's, it's Christmas time and the universe is bringing in major justice for those who were suffering before or going through attacks before from people, um, even spiritual attacks, since this involves the area of Sagittarius as well. And that can be spirituality. Now, you know, what goes around comes around, you know. It, what goes around comes around it you know a lot of people don't believe that but it's certainly true um but success could come in for you if you have those placements between five and eleven degrees that is awesome for you guys now the moon in virgo is going to try mercury and capricorn at the same time and the uh with it trining virgo and capricorn uh trining mercury and capricorn this is communication coming in directly to you maybe about your image your identity and your first impressions okay where you're of service to people maybe it's information coming in at a distance from you about your education and skills what you think and preach something you've been waiting for as far as your investments or that you've invested in maybe it's shared finances you were waiting for it to come towards you so you can forge forward so that you can bless home and family okay you have those things aspecting you if you have placements in capricorn or virgo i'd say between 15 and 21 degrees now with venus retrograde bumped up against pluto you're also going to see a big transformation in yourself if you have placements in capricorn between 22 and 28 degrees virgo or even taurus you're going to see a big transformation and it's going to be because of romance you're transforming money or you're transforming through pleasure pursuits like if you haven't had a chance to travel in a long time you get this big chance to travel which is a rebirth and uh, maybe this is something you've always wanted to do in the past since venus is retrograde or maybe this is money coming in that you've been waiting for now palace and pisces at 14 degrees is sex going to be on christmas is going to be sextile juno and capricorn so if you have placements between 11 and 17 degrees of pisces or capricorn the there's going to be an opportunity for you to make a commitment um for you to uh you know it's going to be communicated to you some type of commitment is going to be communicated to you or you're going to make some type of commitment where you're going to be able to utilize your talents um this is going to take ambition you know whatever it is but it's positive you know and this is something that you need to concentrate on this partnership and and you know getting out of this feeling of poverty and lack getting over these losses and defeat that you have been experiencing and moving forward past those okay that's what this is going to be about for thursday friday and saturday for you now let's see what they have for the let's see Okay, yeah, you're waiting for some type of decision to be made or something you're trying to manifest. Um, the only thing is that this two of swords is upside down. So you want to be very mindful of being in a state of confusion or indecision, maybe information overload. Um, you could have deception within a partnership as well. So you have to be directing your pursuit of answers. Um, yeah. And, and there could be a lost opportunity for some sort of a lack of planning or there could be some financial loss coming in just a little bit because you're going to probably have to spend something on a child, a lover or a creative endeavor. OK, 
let's find out what extra messages oh that one came right out what extra oh that's two another message for what you're going to be dealing with for thursday friday saturday okay so you got the magician you're the author of your life you're the creator you're the alchemist you can do anything to change your life you can manifest what you need to be a success just seek out an, elect, an intellectual solution to your problem because you need to act quickly or decisively. Sudden or unexpected changes can pop up to where you'll have to pivot, okay? Just open your heart and uh, to love and begin a new intimate relationship or rebirth a current one, okay? Rebirth that love relationship in there. You have that Capricorn with that Venus you know, conjunction with Pluto. So you're going to re be, be rebirthing a relationship or a love relationship. And you also are going to have psychic abilities awaken and spiritual epiphanies coming into you. Now, let's see what your most likely outcomes are for. Uh, okay, we got one. Let's see. We got two. All right. Children or childhood, the return of people or romances from the past, remembering events differently in a better or worse light. You need to make sure you're seeing things how they occurred and not in a better or worse light. OK, because it looks like you're going to be a little deluded as to something uh, that's going on this week. And it could have to do with a relationship from the past or your relationship with a child. Take steps to ensure your financial security with your children or loved ones. Make wise investments or plan for retirement. You know, um, you're also going to be honoring family tradition. So make sure that you have insurances on everything. If you're purchasing things, get insurance. You know, have insurance for your children, life insurance. Make sure everything is all set up and safe. Make sure you're getting copyrights and everything for anything you're putting out before you put your creative works out. But you're going to have plans that work out perfectly and amazing ideas that lead to rewards, okay? You're going to be happy for the blessings of life that come that come in, okay? Um, let's see if they have any messages that they want to tell us that we may have left out. Any extra messages for Capricorn for Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Any extra messages for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign people for Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Oh, that one wants to bend and it doesn't want to go back in. So I'm assuming it's news worth celebrating. Joyful announcements and engagements, even weddings or pregnancies, graduations. It's just a time for gratitude, close communities and chosen families. So, all right. And you got the star card on the bottom of the deck, which is to have faith for the future because dreams will come true and you will see the light at the end of the tunnel. God bless you, Capricorn. See you next week. Bye now.